so bright It's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush Hey guys, this is Spector and today we're gonna talk about movie making and how you can make your own frag movie. This will actually be a series of videos where I will show you how I record my clips, cinematics and we'll jump into some basic and advanced editing in Vegas Pro later on in the next episodes. It will include all my settings, effects, tips and tricks that I use in order to make a great montage so stick around if you wanna find out more and make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when I release the next videos. As a disclaimer, I want you to know that I'm not a professional editor, but I'm really passionate about CSGO and editing, and I'm happy to share my knowledge with you guys. Alright, so first things first. If you want to create a CSGO montage, you first need to decide what kind of footage you want to edit, because you have two options, and I'll try to mention a few pros and cons for each of them. First option would be to record your screen while you're playing and create a montage from clips as shown here. Let me show you the pros for this one. Recording takes no effort and you save a lot of time. You're not bothered with demos, like saving them after each match and trying to find the kills. Uh, gameplay looks better because it's the actual footage. I'm mentioning this because in matchmaking demos have 32 tick rate and face it demos have 64 tick rate. This means that if you do an insane flick with the op, the demos can't pick it up properly and <laughs> it can look a bit funky and some people might appreciate the live footage more. The cons for this would be that the UI is visible, like your radar, health bar, etc. Slow motion will be laggy because you're filming in 60 FPS, and if you're doing a 25% slow motion, you basically have 15 FPS. You don't have any cinematics here, and you can't manipulate the death notices. Uh, what I mean here is that you can't hide others from the death notice and you can't make your kills stay in longer in the kill feed. The quality is a bit worse. Uh, let's be honest, most of us are not playing in full HD resolution and with all our video settings tuned up to the maximum. Most of us still play 4x3 format with the most dominant resolution being uh, 1280 by 960 so even if you export a 1080p montage, your clips are still in 1280 by 960 and the quality is not that great. Your second option would be to record from demos. The rules for this ones are great quality, like you always film in full HD or higher, and you can tune up your video settings to the max, shadows, shaders, and so on. You have clean clips, like no UI shown, no health bar, no money, no everything. You can have great slow motion, great cinematics, and the possibility to manipulate death notices. Cons for this would be, it's very time consuming. Like imagine, downloading demos, searching for the frags, kill feed manipulation, filming, cinematics, this can take entire hours from your time. You struggle with extra software, like HLAE, I will tell you what this is in a moment. Okay, so in the end we're talking about a 5 hour edit, versus a 20 or 30 or even 40 hour edit. This also depends on your skills and passion. It's up to you what kind of content you want to create. I like option 2, but I'm also trying to keep a balance and post some actual gameplay footage as well. So now I will show you how you can record your demos and get the best quality out of them. Okay, so let's start with recording software. For recording I'm using either OBS or Shadowplay. To be honest I don't really see any difference between them. I can show you the settings that I use right now. Uh, in video, everything set to 1080p, 60fps. Downscale filter, as you can see, this one right here, Langzos, I think it's named. For the output mode in recording tab, I'm using the advanced tab. Uh, you can copy all my settings from here, but you can also use the simple tab. And I need to switch to the. Uh, I need to stop the recording to show you this. Here are my settings for the simple output mode, keep the bitrate up to 50k and for the quality I'm using indistinguishable quality, large file size, it's up to you pretty much what option you want to pick here, you can even go for the lossless option or even for the uh, medium file size, just test it out and see what works best for you. 
but for the record I'm using the option indistinguishable quality. Okay guys, so for shadow play, these are the settings that I use. Uh, it's custom because I set the bitrate to 50, but it's pretty much... No, it's custom because I set the resolution to 1080p, but in shadow play it's pretty simple, like 50k bitrate, 50 megabits and frame rate 60 fps and that's pretty much it the next program you need to download is half-life advanced effects or hlae i will leave a link in the description for this but you can go by yourself in your browser and type it in the search bar and you will see the first website that pops right here advancedfx.org Click here and on the download page you need to get the uh, last version for this yeah which is this one for you it could be different but either way uh, just make sure it's the latest version possible and from here I'm gonna download the zip file second monitor for some reason extract the files make sure you extract them in a folder and yeah now what you have to do is you open this folder and you open the program itself and you click on file launch CSGO and this is already set up for me because I've used this program in the past, but it's not gonna be set up for you. So what you have to do is browse to your local CSGO folder and select csgo.exe. For graphic resolution, uh, you can enable this and make sure it's in full HD, 1920 by 1080 And that's it. Okay guys, so before launching CSGO you need to know a couple of things. First things first, this program Half-Life Advanced Effects is basically a cheat and I will not recommend you to join a server while launched, while launched using this program because you might get fact banned. Uh, they have a way to avoid that by using the insecure parameter in set launch but still you need to be very careful when launching CSGO through this program. The second thing is uh, you need a config file or you need to know a couple of settings for movie making. For instance, this is my movie making config. I have a couple of settings here that help with the stuttering and the smoothness of the players. But also you need to know to set the volume of the voice of the players to zero. Uh, you don't want to show any assists in your kill feed when you kill someone and these are some uh, specific commands for uh, the HLAE program that I will, I will explain in a bit uh, this is to mute the volume of radio commands for instance when, uh, when you throw a molotov your character so says throwing a molotov and so on this command mutes that this is another command for the smoothness of the players and these are two pines that I used for uh, cinematics and I will explain them in the next episode. I will put this config in the description below and you can download it or you can copy the settings yourself and make your own config. You need to copy it right here. So this is my steam path, steam, steam apps common csgo uh, csgo and config folder and right here i made it it's named mm from movie making and once you launch csgo you need to exec it so you can apply the settings all right guys thanks very much for watching 
This has been episode 1 of how to make a CSGO montage series and episode 2 will come in later today as well, where we will continue with recording your footage from a demo. If you have any questions so far, please let me know in the comments and don't forget to drop a like on this video so it can be seen by multiple people. See you in the next videos.